Good afternoon, everyone. Adam here at Kenyon Classic Cars in Clarence, Iowa. We want to show you this 1964 Ford Galaxy 500 that we have in here this afternoon. Now, this Galaxy 500 is probably one of the nicest Galaxy 500s I've seen in a long time. This car is black on black, black outside, black interior, has bucket seats and a council. Now, this car was a frame off restoration that was completed, oh, I'd say five to 10 years ago. <clears throat> car is absolutely stunning in every way. It has power steering, power brakes. It also has factory air conditioning. The air conditioning is cold in this car. Very, very nice quality restoration on this car. The paint is beautiful, the interior is beautiful. It also has a fuel injection system put on this car, which makes it very, very drivable. You can get in this car, you can hit the key, it starts right up. Your daughter, your wife, anybody can drive this car. You don't have to worry about flooding it or having it not start because it starts right up. I was very, very impressed. They dropped it off last week. I jumped in the car, hit the key, and it was running. So this is a very, very high quality 64 Ford Galaxy. And like I say, with that 390 in it, it runs like a charm. Just a great, great car. I have all the restoration pictures. Well, not all of them, but I have a bunch of restoration pictures on a board in the back seat that I will be happy to share with you. I was gonna put some different wheels and tires on this car and kind of dress it up and, <clears throat> you know, put some 18s and 20s on it and really make it look cool, but I decided just to stay with the factory look, leave the caps on it, leave the car original, and then if somebody wants to change it when they buy it, let them change it. Or if it don't sell right away, maybe I will do that. But <clears throat> I think the purists would really, really like to see the stock hubcaps on this car. So that's why I left this car alone. If it was a Camaro or a Chevelle, I probably would have switched them. But I'm going to show you inside the trunk here. Yes, the trunk is open. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with the gaps or how the trunk fits. Um, the trunk was just open, so I left it open. That way I could show you the inside of it. It's got all the liners in it. Really, really nice. Very impressive um, trunk compartment on this car. There's the spare tire, the jack. Very, very nice. It's got the mat in it. The older gentleman who had this car took excellent care of it. The trunk light even works. Kind of nice to see that when you... You go to look for a car. I know it's a little thing, but when you open the door and the dome light works, when you open the trunk and the trunk light works, you know, if they took the time to make sure that that is working, you know they've done the rest of the car right. It's just the little things that really count to me. And this car, like I say, everyone, this car is absolutely stunning. All the bright work and all the stainless on this car is in very good shape. Your glass looks good all around this car. <clears throat> all your stainless around your windows looks very nice. Your door mirrors look nice. Your door handles look great. You know what? You don't find that in every single car that you run across that things look as good as they do. And there's the car. You can see how nice and straight and beautiful the car is. Chrome bumpers are in good shape. The stainless on the grill is in good shape. You could probably even polish this out a little bit more than what it is. Unfortunately, right now, I am the detailer. You're listening to the detailer right now because we just can't find enough help. So I spent most of the day on Saturday cleaning up cars and getting them ready to go. Um, I know that probably sounds silly that the owner of this place is doing the detailing and cleaning. But hey, I do whatever it takes around here at Kenyon Classic Cars. We treat everybody like we want to be treated. We're really honest about our cars. We'll tell you exactly everything we know about our cars. And that's just how we do business. And that's how we've done business for the last 51 years. And that's how we're going to be continuing to, to do business. I'm going to show you the interior of this car now. Um, and then we'll open the hood. We'll, we'll look all around this car. There's the interior. Like I say, the seats are in great shape. Has new carpet. The dash pad is nice. The car has power windows too, which you don't see that in every single one of them. And here's the door jams. 
You can just look and see how nice this car is and the quality of this car. Look how nice they did that. And there's what I was saying about the dome lights. All them dome light works, them, that dome light works, that dome light works, that dome light works. Look at that. That clock works. I will show you these pictures too. And I'll try to set them down here in the trunk so you can see them. There you can see that the engine and transmission were built and they put them back together on it. <clears throat> Six, 64 Ford Galaxy 500 two-door hardtop, Raven Black, uh, Thunderbird 394 barrel, cruisomatic transmission, courtesy lights group, 800 by 14 tires, rock, rocker panel moldings, power lift windows, power steering brakes, uh, AM FM radio, seat belts, two speed wipers, padded dash, remote control mirrors, wire wheel covers, and that says uh, motive style cooling. Just really a neat car, um, and it's really cool to have all this. These pictures and, you know, that original window sticker for this car, just really, really nice to have that. Not everybody probably thinks that's a big deal, but to me it's a really big deal. Look at the gaps on this car. Things line up really nice on the car. Same way with the doors. The doors open and shut great on the car. Um... The carpet's new. Your door jams are nice. Your sill plates are nice. It's like I probably, the detailer slipped a little bit there. You could have cleaned that a little bit better. There's your door gap though on the front, or on the back. There's your door gap on the front. We're gonna open the hood. There it is, the 390 engine, aluminum Edelbrock intake on that. And it's an MSD fuel injection kit. It does have a really nice set of stainless headers on it. There's your MSD box for your fuel injection over there. There's your AC compressor, your power brakes, your power steering. It's got aluminum radiator in it. Really, really nice underneath the hood. Again, I probably could have spent another two hours probably cleaning underneath the hood. I just didn't have it. Sorry, everybody. So, you'll have to fire me, I guess. We're going to start this car up now and let you listen to it run. We'll check all the lights because I haven't done that yet, and we'll just go through it together. And, you know, then, we'll, then you'll know and I'll know what works and what doesn't work. There's your door gaps again on that door, front and back. Car. I mean, I'm not even barely pushing that. Two fingers. Um, this window seal, this window uh, stainless piece here, it does have a little bit of pitting on this one. The rest of them all look great. I don't know why that one has a little bit of pitting on it. Um, and I noticed something else. If you, I'm being really picky, but that's just how I am. Um, I'm going to tell you exactly what I see when I'm looking at it. Um, the paint on this car is gorgeous. Just like any car, you can have a $150,000, $200,000 car, and you're going to be able to walk up to it. You're going to be able to see something. If you look right here in the right light, it looks like it's a little bit dry. Um, you, the normal person, the average person would never even see that. But underneath these lights, these lights are really, they're LED lights. So you see everything underneath these lights. And that's why I'm just, I was just pointing that out to you that, it looks, the car's a great car, but just like I say, every car has a few imperfections in it, and that's just the way it is. All right, 
So, it shows 13,637 miles on the odometer. Now, we're just going to assume that that's probably 113,000 miles on this car. Um, look at there. Hit the key, it's running. No problems, no problems at all. The horn is not working. I will have to look at that. There's your dash lights. Your, even the light on that tack works. Dash lights are all working. So this is part of a long history. Your clock works, like I say, your radio works. That window works. Woo. That lighter works. I pushed that in and it popped out at me. That window works. That one works too. Left rear. It has. I don't know, power. So lock. I don't know, that must be window lock. There's your uh, MSD controller there, and that does have a battery tender in there too. So that battery tender, you can put that back on. There's your uh, turn signal indicators, they both work. Your bright headlight indicator works. Let's try the wipers. The wipers work. I can't, honestly, the only thing I found on this car so far that didn't work was the uh, horn. And I will look into that horn for you. Listen to how great this car sounds. This car sounds amazing. There's your uh, tail lights, your license plate light, and there's your turn signal. And look at that light. It's got an LED light in there. See how? Now that's pretty cool. We will have some pictures of the undercarriage of this car up on our website shortly. So just stay tuned for that. There's all four of your headlights. There's your right turn signal. Your left turn signal works too. I'm not gonna go through that right this second. Turn that AC off. That AC is is blowing cold too. By the way, if you didn't you didn't uh, know that it is blowing cold. There she is, 1964. Ford Galaxy 500, 390, automatic, steering brakes and air conditioning. Where would you find another one this nice? Now, I'm gonna price this car at 39.9, and somebody is going to get a really, really good car. Give us a call today, 563-452-2450. Look us up on our website, KenyanAuto.com, K-I-N-I-O-N, Auto.com. We'd really love to talk to you about this car or maybe something else that we have in stock. Give us a call, and thanks for watching our videos, and have a great day.